Adam and his wife lived in the Garden of Eden, where everything was good and right. But a cunning creature appeared to the woman, the serpent, and the serpent asked her a question. Did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? We may eat fruit from the trees, said the woman, but not from the tree in the middle of the garden, or we'll die. You will not surely die, the serpent told her. God knows that you'll be like him if you eat the fruit. The woman looked at the tree and saw that its fruit looked very appealing. She reached out her hand and took some and ate it. And she also gave some to Adam, and he ate it. Then they realised what a terrible thing they had done. They felt ashamed and covered themselves with fig leaves. They heard the Lord God approaching and hid themselves among the trees. Where are you? God called. I heard you in the garden, said Adam, and I was afraid, so I hid. The Lord asked him, Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The woman gave me some, he said. What is this you have done? God asked the woman. The serpent deceived me, and I ate, said the woman. Then God cursed the serpent, and said that he and the woman would be enemies. He also promised that someone from the woman's family would crush the serpent's head. God told the woman that giving birth to children would now be very painful. He told the man that the earth would be cursed. It would produce thorns and thistles, and work would be hard. And they would die and return to the dust. Adam then gave his wife the name Eve, and God made clothes for them to cover their bodies. As punishment for their disobedience, God sent them out of the garden, and they wouldn't be allowed back in. God put heavenly beings called cherubim at the entrance to the garden with a flaming sword. No one could go back in and eat from the other special tree that was there, the tree of life. What does this story teach us? That sin spoiled the world. Sin means disobeying God, and it has brought sadness and pain into the world. And we learn that sin is why we die. It means we can't live forever. But we also learn that God promised a rescuer. He had a plan to put things right again. Jesus would come to save the world.